This video shows how to use a mapping template to create and run a mapping in Cloud Data Integration. Before you begin, make sure that you have an active secure agent that's running and a configured source and source object that the secure agent can access. Let's get started. From the home page, create a new mapping. Transformations are already defined in mapping templates, so you don't have to create a new mapping from scratch when you want to run common tasks. You can use an integration, cleansing, or warehousing mapping template. In this example, we want to remove duplicate fields in our source and load the results to a target. So, we'll use the cleansing template type. Let's check out the sort transformation. Here, we can see the predefined sort information. In this example, we don't need to change the template but you can add more transformations and parameters if you wish. Now we name the mapping and save it. Great, the mapping is valid, so we'll create a mapping task. First, we'll name the task, then enter a location and select a runtime environment. We'll use a flat file connection for our source and select the single source type and a source object. Now just click Next. Here we'll configure the target. We'll select a flat file target connection and our target object. Next we'll configure the input parameters. First we'll configure the sort conditions. We'll use the product ID field for the parameter and we'll keep the default sort order. Next we'll define how the fields are grouped and we'll use the same product ID field. Then just run the task. And that's all you need to know about using a mapping template.